reliable 100% fiber internet. Kaya ang sarap maging tambahay with Red Fiber. Today on Rappler. Presidents Marcos and Biden meet in New York City. There was no walkout during Marcos's speech at the UN General Assembly. The UPCAT will resume in 2023. Japan will ease COVID-19 border controls in October. Reports say Johnny Depp is dating his former trial lawyer. Thailand denies entry to a Myanmar beauty queen who criticized the junta. And Roger Federer will be taking his final pro tennis bow with Rafa Nadal. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and U.S. President Joe Biden meet on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly. In their meeting, Biden says that although we've had some rocky times, the relationship between the two countries is critical. The White House says the two leaders discussed the situation in the South China Sea as well as the importance of respect for human rights. Neither the White House nor Malacanang have gone into detail about the meeting. The U.S. and the Marcos clan have a long and colorful relationship. The U.S. government supported the regime of Marcos Sr. until the People's Uprising sent the family packing to Hawaii. A post has been circulating on Facebook and Twitter that attendees of the United Nations General Assembly walked out on President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s speech. This is false. Empty seats during the UN General Assembly are not uncommon. The president of Honduras, Iris Xiomara Castro Sarmiento, spoke to the assembly before Marcos. There was no significant decrease in attendees from Sarmiento's speech to Marcos's. But walkouts do happen. During Russia's foreign minister's speech in March 2022, around 100 delegates walked out to show disapproval for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The University of the Philippines announces its college admissions test will resume for the academic year 2024 to 2025. The admission test or UPCAT will be held face to face on June 3 and 4, 2023. This will be the first time the UPCAT will be held since 2020 when the pandemic began. Meanwhile, the application for the academic year 2023 to 2024 is ongoing. Applicants will be screened through the scoring model devised by the university. Japan Prime Minister Fumio Kishida says his country will ease COVID-19 border controls in October. Individual tourism and visa waiver travel of people from certain countries are now allowed as long as they are vaccinated. Japan will also scrap a daily cap on arrivals. This move aims to invigorate Japan's tourism amid the yen slide to a 24-year low. Japan has some of the strictest border measures among major economies during the pandemic. Actor Johnny Depp is reportedly in a relationship with trial lawyer Joel Rich, according to E News and People. Rich represented him in a 2018 libel lawsuit against tabloid The Sun, which called Depp a wife beater. He lost the case in 2020. Rich was not involved in Depp's U.S. defamation case against former wife Amber Heard earlier this year. Rich, who has two children, is currently divorcing her husband. An insider from U.S. Weekly says their chemistry is off the charts and they are the real deal. Myanmar beauty queen Han Lee is denied entry into Thailand. Han Lee gained public interest when she delivered a speech during a pageant calling for help for Myanmar and criticizing its military crackdown. Thai immigration says she did not have a valid visa to enter Thailand. But her Instagram posts show she spent most of the past year in Thailand. She was returning to the country on a flight from Vietnam when she was denied entry. The rivalry between tennis legends Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal takes a bittersweet turn. Nadal will be alongside Federer for a final doubles match on the opening day of the Labor Cup at London's O2 Arena. Early in September, Federer announced his retirement from professional tennis. Tennis has treated me more generously than I ever would have dreamt. And now I must recognize when it is time to end my competitive career. Federer played Nadal 40 times in one of the most compelling rivalries witnessed in the sport. But off the court, the two are good friends. And that's today's wrap. I'm Kita Chotiko. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Music